Ian and Mark, the biggest betrayal in our history. This is Europe. It is Europe. This is the fact that we're going to become the United States of Europe. And I, I don't know which paper this is, but a number of papers have got incredibly excited. Because it's an, an idea put forward by the French um, about how they should um, run Europe. And it's put forward by Giscard d'Estaing, um, who in this country would be in jail. Um, it's the equivalent of having Geoffrey Archer decide the future of the continent. <laughs> He got involved in a scandal of taking diamonds from Emperor Bokassa, that charming humanitarian who had a fridge full of human body parts. He's one of those really charming French leaders that they turn up, what, sort of every time, really. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of being told about a constitution of Europe by Destin is absolutely ludicrous. Um, sorry, I do sound a bit like the Daily Mail, but just occasionally they're right. <laughs> We're meant to have a referendum on this, but Blair doesn't want a referendum. Perfectly good reason, he'd lose. Uh, <laughs> so we're not having a referendum. We have a referendum on whether they're local council elections, whether you want a monkey in Hartlepool, uh, <laughs> really important issues. But on the fact, do you want to be ruled by a group of people in Brussels? It's not important. You were going off on one there, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, but it's sort of irritating, Give really. Give it another three minutes and it'll be f***ing it, Shallions! You know, who the f***ing war? <laughs> That is a reasonable point, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's very easy to sneer, but if you mean the Italians like Mr Prodi, the commissioner who had to resign along with the whole of the commission on charges of corruption, it's a reasonable point about Italians. Or Mr <laughs> Berlusconi, oh, another crook. No, no, Every just one the of them in crooks. No, no. Just <laughs> just playing them. the left-wing comic and saying in the hope of getting a laugh. <laughs> Awesome and irrelevant. <laughs> Can I say that was tremendously exciting, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> you should go on a bonding weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really, don't really bother me that much. But the um, <laughs> does it bother you, Ian? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'd like to check Ian's blood pressure now, actually. If that's all right. <laughs> How did the sun crystallise the, the damned injustice of the situation? Well, it's no good trying to undermine the argument by calling in the sun. <laughs> well, they did it rather well, actually. 81% in dark on Europe treaty. 84% demand referendum on it. <laughs> Can I go and work that out? Do you know Article 14 of this thing says that we have to be loyal to the European Commission? So on the basis of the last ten minutes, I'd be locked up <laughs> in Greece on a charge of spying. <laughs> you're, not, you're not supposed to clap, then. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is the debate over the new constitution for the European Union. The Sun compared Tony Blair's plans to previous threats to our sovereignty. Notice how Tony is a much bigger threat than, say, Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Baroness Thatcher joined in the anti-Europe debate, giving a speech in New York, attacking the French for collaborating with the enemies of the West. She later added, I have drunk deep from the same well of ideas as Ronald Reagan. <laughs> I think maybe one drink too many, Maggie. <laughs>